Hello guys, today we are going to discuss is all about uh, PGC T2024-25 for MBA and uh, let's discuss what are the sections we do have and uh, what are the topics to be covered, okay? So fundamentally, there will be four sections in uh, MCQs part. Basically, it is the MCQs. Obviously, there is no theoretical part. Each question carries one mark and it's for 100 marks. The four sections will be, first one is computer awareness, second one is analytical ab ability and logical reasoning, third one is quantitative analysis, fourth one will be English language, and fifth one would be general knowledge. Okay. So all these topics has to be covered and uh, give more focus for uh, computer awareness since we are good at uh, scrolling or browsing with uh, mobiles and lapis uh, little knowledge of computers giving little stress for computers will give you uh, fetch us more marks okay so first one is computer awareness yeah, under that what are the concepts we have is again that is divided into the four sections first one is computer basics organizations of the computer how the computer is organized uh, how the input will be taken output is given and all those stuff we have to take care of CPU just the functionalities is important input output devices. This is very basic We should know which is input devices that is going to take the input and which is going to give you the output For example, the it can be the monitor or the printer and computer memory as we know that there is uh, so many called RAM ROM Volatile down volatile and all those stuff. We have to take care of programming languages little bit of the programming knowledge is enough no need to dwell inside deep and Types of operating system, obviously we do know that there is Android, Windows, Linux and so on. So what are the features, those things we have to know. Little bit of knowledge about the internet, web applications, web application that is nothing but any software or anything that is related to the internet and how they are using, uh, what are the advantages of it, D database applications, where do we use and what are the uses of it and little bit of information system this is all all the basic fundamentally it's all about the basics of computer and uh, i think we can score more marks here or concentrate more on that so the second part would be the data representation representation is nothing but uh, we know that in computers all the uh, whatever the letters or characters what we are going to type that will be converted into the binary and that will be again of the, that will be converted into the human readable form so that little bit of knowledge about that is required representation of the characters how we are going to represent is it in a decimal hexa decimal octal and we do have so many representations integers fractions binary ascii ascii is nothing but american standard code information interchange in that we do have a code for each and every character and uh, that is every letters or numbers and hexadecimal that is nothing but the base 16 that we have to take care of so all this, uh, how the, fundamentally how the data is represented, how the information is going to store and how we will be, how we'll be presenting that. That is all about the data representation. Third part is nothing but the binary arithmetic. This is all purely little bit of math is enough, not not um, uh, something like calculus and all. Very ba basic binary math arithmetic is enough. That is nothing but addition in binary. How we uh, so from binary arithmetic we understood that it is uh, going to be in the form of the zero and ones itself. So how the addition is done, uh, for example, 1, 0 is not a 10 here, it is 2. So that you have to take care, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, 2 is complement, arithmetic, floating point, representation of numbers, floating is nothing but decimal part, normalized floating point, how we are going to normalize on all that. So I think a little bit we are going to, uh, we have to concentrate on the floating point representation. Let's see one by one in depth. Then... Uh, the fourth part is operating system, how the operating system evolved, types of operating system, functions of an operating system, modern operating system, right now what we are using and all those stuff. So all these four parts, if you cover, it is all completely theoretical and only the little bit of math is required is in third part that is binary arithmetic and that is also a little bit easy itself. So I think we can go, score good marks in computer awareness. So the second part is analytical ability and logical thinking reasoning for this for damn sure you need more of practice and uh, in this the logical reasoning puzzles diagrams analogy verbal ability analytical ability and related aspects so all this we have to cover for the logical reasoning third one is quantitative analysis in this 
how the data is analyzed arithmetic and how the interpretation happens statistical analysis and related to the quantitative aspect so it's all about the quantitative how it is how we are going to analyze the data fourth one is english grammar obviously for this grammar is very important uh, in that we do have basic english grammar synonyms and terms as we know synonyms is nothing but uh, similar words of uh, which gives the similar meaning anonyms is nothing but opposite of that so whatever the word we say what is the against that that we have to tell you and sentence correction if there is any mistakes or there is any flaws we have to correct the sentence one word substitution items and phrases pairs expressions relationships famous books in english literature, english literature for example uh, wings of fire who has written this book it's obviously apj abdul kalam few famous books in english literature we have to take care and most probably i guess we have to concentrate more on the shakespeare and uh, some uh, evolutions whoever have done revolutionary part and uh, that we have to take care of little bit of general knowledge is needed and fifth what is obviously it's a general knowledge in this we have to concentrate on the indian business environment how it is happening global environment social events culture events economics management political events historical events current affairs sports awards personalities and achievements oh yeah, by seeing this we can get to know that it's all about purely about the memorizing the data okay memorize the concepts and the achievements of science and technology humanities entrepreneur or entrepreneurship basic com business communication so these this is all the syllabus and um, very few days are left out we have to more concentrate more on these concepts and let's see how we are going to we will post more videos on this how to prepare for the mba stay tuned thank you